So a few of you have sent the video of the last flight of the Kizil Loma, the Red Apple, uh, a test flight with the Erst, which I think is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the video and see that what we can find out, what we can learn about this. So uh, Baycar said it was their last flight of 2025 test flight with the Karat Erst. Uh, if you go in the comments, they actually talk about this. So they've got an EO, an EOTS, electro-optical targeting system. They've also got the, uh, which I guess this would be the EOTS. This would be the Erst. And... This is a flight with both of them, with EOTS at the bottom. And I know Gonky and those guys on the other channel did a review of the formation flight that they did, which to me, the ability to do formation is kind of a precursor to be able to do dogfighting. Right, because that's all formation is. It's, it's visually or with whatever sensors you have, at all aspects, being able to identify the parameter, line of sight rates, all that stuff, closure, range angles and closure of the other aircraft, and then do an assessment and fly in relation to that. If you can do formation, because, I mean, that's how we do it in training. We start out with formation, and then that goes into the building blocks of basic fighter maneuvers and air to air ACM and all that stuff. So if it can do that now, that is the beginning of being able to do one V one dog fighting. Now, granted, are we doing much of that in, in practical applications? No. I mean, beyond visual range missiles, which I think BVR is easier than within visual range. And I said that before within visual range is tough because of the reasons I just said, if they've got that figured out, I mean, then they pretty much got the whole package. So this is the video uh, that they put out a couple days ago, and it's just music, so we'll, we'll lower the volume there. And you can see there, that's the Erst, so infrared search and track. Erst is something I never got to fly with, but always wanted to have. A lot of Russian fighters have the Erst. I think the Tomcat had the Erst too. Tomcats, but uh, passive detection. So it's a very good thing to have. I mean, it's not something that, you know, and it, it can negate a lot of other problems like ECM, electronic countermeasures, even stealth, because Erst is a, you know, it's infrared. It's not radar. But I think it looks better. Just to me, that's a better look. And it looks less creepy having that. But this is all autonomous. It's doing its own thing. Uh, you can see the chase vehicle behind it. is big a lot of people make the distinction they talk about well it's not a drone the actual definition of a drone is anything that's not flown it's not there's no human in it so by definition it is a drone is it dr small drone size no but it's an unmanned aerial vehicle uh and this is obviously unmanned but it's autonomous it's about fighter size i mean it's about the size of an f-16 so it's a big aircraft normal size aircraft with uh i think it's got hard points and it will or if it if it doesn't already have uh, internal yeah there's your internal there um i think it's got internal there but uh it's a big airplane i mean it's just you know it's not a small drone or anything like that this is a fighter equivalent still a drone though I'd be interested to see how they integrate all the sensors, right? Sensor fusion, that's a big thing. So it has to take the data from the Earth. It's got to take the data from the ESA. If it had an EOTS, it would take that data as well and then create a 360 degree picture and then determine where the threats are, how to engage them. Um, and I guess being AI powered, what is the backing on that? What is the, the programming? Uh, rules of engagement, how is it deciding what's friend and foe, all that stuff. That's all very important. Is it on the data link? You know, is it going to be using the link to determine 
various parameters. But this is just a flying video. There's nothing super special about that other than the fact that it's flying. Single engine, no issues with that. Yeah, it's not really doing much maneuvering. It was flying off of something. Obviously, it you know it's it's trying to maintain formation off the the camera ship there. Uh, you can see that is it maneuvering in relation to something else. I don't know what camera ship took this. All right, so there's the Erst. That's pretty cool. That's a really cool feature. Um, you know, that helps with the passive detection and all that stuff. That's a very, very good thing to have. The music's probably not the best, but. All right, and that is the landing gear coming out. Three down and locked. I wonder if someone takes control here or if it does everything, if it lands itself or if it's either or, right? Could it have somebody land it or it land itself or, or vice versa? But yeah, it's a very short video of them, them testing the earth. I, I also wonder if there will eventually be variants because you saw there's one or the other, right? But will they have the... EOTs on the bottom and the Erst on the top and have both and have like a, a full sensor. Uh, there's obviously a sensor back there on the spine, which they haven't talked about, but see, that's a, that's a drone right there. Um, but no, it's cool. I mean, I'm, it's been fun to track the progress and development of it because, you know, it's obviously indigenously produced. It is something that is pretty capable and I'm, I would love to see how they integrate it with, man fighters like what's the integration role is it going to be uh something that you sell to foreign governments that that's their entire air force eventually you know if you can produce a bunch of them i mean you can overwhelm your opponent i mean it's it's that's scary right that's a scary part of warfare but um i still think you know you need to have somebody in the cockpit or at least a uh, a fifth gen or sixth gen that's quarterbacking this but uh, I definitely think it's there's a lot of good development here. So let me know in the comments what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.